So we're going to do uh, left and right of so the bones of the lower appendage and we can start with a femur. I've got a left and a right of each type and with a femur um, what I recommend you do is you look at the shape of the bone and you'll see that it bows and the bow goes anteriorly. So if this is anterior and this is the head of the femur and that goes into the acetabulum then this has to be a left. And then here's the right. So again we see the bow goes anteriorly. This is medial, and so that is a right. So we have a left and a right femur. We have the tibia. A lot of students put an L in tibia. There is no L in tibia. There's an L in fibula, but no L in tibia. And uh, in fact, I take off for spelling on that one. The tibia does the same thing that the femur does. It bows a little bit anteriorly, not quite as remarkably. And then we have a medial malleolus. So if this is anterior and this is medial, this has to be a left. This is the tibial tuberosity where the patella attaches to the patella ligament. And then here is a right. Again, you can see the bow goes a little bit anteriorly. Medial malleolus, that's a right tibia. The fibula um, really isn't too bad. I used to use an analogy with sailboats, but a lot of people don't know sailboats. so. Rather than do that, uh, one of my students came up with a better plan, and I think I adopted that. So if you put the uh, fibula so that the lateral malleolus is flat and facing upward, and then you look, you'll see there's a point. The point is on the side it's come from. So this is a right fibula, and here we get this one. We get the lateral malleolus flat, and we point it up. And here's the point on the left side, so this is a left fibula. So a left fibula and a right fibula. They actually don't face like that, they face like this. But I, that's how I would do it. I think that makes things easy. Okay, over here we have the bones, the heel bone, uh, and a patella, and a uh, talus. We'll do the patella first. Patella is probably the easiest bone in the body to tell left from right. So I've got a left and a right here. The right is on the right and the left is on the left. That was kind of fortuitous. And if you look, you'll see that there is an apex. The apex should point away from you. And then you balance it and you let it go and it will tip to the side of the trunk. So that tip to the right, that's a right. This one, we got the apex pointing away from me. We let it go, tips to the left, that's a left. Here is a calcaneus. Calcaneus is the heel bone. And um, I used to go through some gyrations, but I think they may have been more complex than they were helpful. So um, what I do now is I say, remember that this looks a little bit like your foot, and this would be your big toe. And your big toe is on the medial side of your foot. So this, and this is facing forward, you put the big toe out in front. So this is a right, and this is a left with the big toe over here. Then these are the talus, each one. We have a right and a left. And the analogy I like to use with the talus is that it looks a little bit like a turtle. So here's the head of the turtle, and here's the shell. Or a snail, maybe. I like the turtle analogy better. Anyway, so here's the shell of the turtle. There's its head. The flat side is medial. So this is a right. Flat side is medial. This is a left. So we have a left and a right talus, a left and a right calcaneus, a left and a right patella, a left and a right tibia, a left and a right fibula, except they should be like this, really, and then a left and a right femur. And there you go. Those are the bones of the lower limb.